Hi, I'm public speaking coach Milo Shapiro, and welcome to Business Advantage, the show where we focus on one business per episode that has the potential to give you the advantage. The difference between a home-taken headshot and one that's captivating, that brings out your personal branding, can be tremendous. My guest today has been a full-time professional photographer since 1997, providing thousands of clients with wedding, event, newborn, and business photography. She now primarily specializes in headshot, personal branding, and product photography. Hiring the right photographer for your needs can be tricky. So Sarah Morgan of Sarah Morgan Photography, welcome to Business Advantage. And I'm so glad you can be here with us to answer some questions. Thank you, Milo. I'm happy to be here. Great. So I could try and guess, but I'm just going to ask you straight out. What questions should I be asking before I hire a photographer? Well, the very first thing you want to ask for is their website and their social media links. You want to go and look at their work and make sure it matches up with your vision and your needs. Um, you can also ask what their process is, how they go about their sessions, what's included in the session. Mm. And I always say, ask if there's any hidden fees. I guess that could happen pretty easily. I, yeah. I know a lot of people who have put off doing their headshots over and over again because they're shy or they think they're not photogenic, but these people still need business photos. So how do you help people like that? Well, camera shy people are my favorite clients because I'm camera shy. I oh. don't like being in front of the camera. And so my biggest the biggest way I help them is to get them prepared. We have a really long consultation before branding sessions, and we go over everything from who they are, what their brand is, and what they want to say. And that helps me to help them plan their wardrobe, locations, and then where the images will be used and how. And then having fun. I like to have fun during shoots. I like to laugh, and I like to help them relax through laughter. And I want them to look authentic. And when people are happy and relaxed, they look more authentic. So having fun is a big part of it. I remember how playful it was when we did our shoot and I definitely felt more relaxed for it. You've used yeah. the term personal branding a number of times. So I wanna ask you very specifically, what do you mean by personal branding? Well, that's a really good question because personal branding is a relatively new genre of photography. It just basically expands on the headshot and takes it to the next level. It adds in lifestyle imagery. So a little bit more action, a little bit more full length, um, and instead of just the static headshot, it's a collection of images that tell a story, kind of like a little magazine of a person or a business. It's more of a story about who they are. So their clients tend to feel that they know them a little bit more than just a headshot. Hmm. So, so I want you to be able to share a little of your work. Can you do it in terms of sharing the difference between a headshot, which we're used to talking about, and the personal branding? Yes. Let me just get to my share screen. Because I know when we talked, that headshot difference made the difference really in seeing what people were like. It's a big difference. So these are headshots. This is a just a clean, simple headshot. And these are basically used for profile pictures and business cards. That's about it. And I've been oh. getting a lot of compliments on that. So thank you. That Look how you Who's made me that look. guy? <laughs> <laughs> so let's look at the difference now with personal branding. Okay, so personal branding is more of a story. So this is April. She's a realtor. She's a speaker. And she wanted to come off as approachable. So we had some fun shots of her. Mm. This is Wesley. He is a CEO of a company, but he does podcasts. He's very successful. And he wanted to be approachable in his photos. So we have those. This is Terry. She sells beauty products. And she's, you know, beautiful and fun and happy. And uh, Michelle, she owns Verb, which is a video marketing uh, company. And so this tells you a little bit of a story of who she is. And Shilpa, she's a wine expert. She is a personal wine shopper. So we went to vineyards. We went to her wine office. And so it's just more expanded past a headshot. It yeah, it's, like a, you... it's like a little peek into their life almost. Yes, exactly. Like... Who's a good candidate for personal branding? Actually, anyone who has a business and they have an online presence. I work with everybody from social influencers to interior designers, real estate agents and brokers, hairstylists, attorneys, executives, dentists, anyone who has social media and a website. 
they need branding, they need images, they need professional images to mix in with their stock images and their more personal images. So they just don't seem like another person on the list. You have that sense of them. Right. It kind of, uh, personal branding kind of brings them up a little step above their competition. I like that. So back to, back to picking a photographer, what do you see as the difference between like a wedding photographer and a portrait photographer? And, well, and why been, would I need one versus the other? Right. I've been both. And wedding photography is more like photojournalism. You have to be so hyper alert during the whole event. <laughs> so much you happening. Capture, right. You want to capture every little thing that is happening. You're not there to actually interfere in what's happening. You're there to capture it. So you're very reactive. Portrait photography is more about control. We control the light, the set, the wardrobe, the mood. It, it's, it's very different. That's why I think most photographers choose one or the other because it is so different. It's, it, they both are, are very fun. <laughs> I bet, and in, in very different ways. Very different. They're inherently very different. For people in the San Diego area who might want to know more about what you're saying or potentially book you, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? The best way is to call me at 858-414-9646 or to uh, reach out through my website, which is sarahmorganphotography.com. A nice, easy one to remember. Sarah, I want to thank you for being a guest on our show today. Thank you, Milo. If you'd like to be uh, one of the guests here on Business Advantage or see other episodes, visit businessadvantage.xyz. And if you'd like to improve your speaking skills, you can check out the homepage for miloshapiro.com. Till next time, I am Milo Shapiro, wishing you good health, good times, and good business.